Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to show you a more in-depth tutorial on how to change colors in Photoshop. So, the last tutorial I did on this, I tried to show a quick example using lip color, but a lot of people had questions about how to change other colors and how to work with larger areas of an image, so hopefully this video will help everyone better understand the principles behind this technique. Now, I got a lot of questions about how I edited this photo when I posted about a week ago, so I figured this would be a really good example to demonstrate with. Now, the first thing we're going to do is open up a hue saturation adjustment layer. And then we're going to go ahead and select the greens because we want to modify those. And greens are iffy because a lot of times they show up in the yellow spectrum uh, instead of on this actual green selection. So if I like quick try to move this, like you'll see it's not actually picking up everything. So what we can do is we can either take that and switch over to yellows and then try to achieve that same color that we were going for. Or the alternative is that we can actually just undo that. Got to make a new layer now because it closed it out. But we can just undo that and then we can go back into greens. And then we can slide this over and grab these little handles down here. And when we grab these little handles down here, what it allows us to do is to drag the area that it's actually affecting over. And you can either kind of drag it like this. Now, what happens is this is the color range that it like is specifically targeting. And then this right here, these outside sliders are the extra range that's it's feathering into. So if we want to change like most of that, we can go like that. Let's actually bring that in a little, just to kind of narrow it in. I do want to catch a little bit of the stuff over here when I'm doing this. And then that brings it like that. And I think we could probably get a little more of the green there. So now it makes it so we can actually control this color a lot easier and more specifically to what we want to use. Uh, and a lot of people don't know about this down here and they just play around with it and they don't actually take the time to you know play around with that. But now you know this trick and that's super useful for when you're trying to do this kind of thing. As you can see, I could now have complete control over that area and can change it whatever color I want to. So. I went with like a pink color the first time I made this image. So let's head on over to like reddish. It's probably something like that. And what you can do is you can lower the saturation if you think it's too like punchy. And then you can also increase the lightness or turn it down depending on what you want to do. Now, this is one way to actually control the colors and to be more accurate with what you want. But I actually used something slightly different for this, but I wanted to show you how to do this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into blues real fast. I'm going to show you how to kind of make that dress pop a bit. And it's really simple. We're just going to increase the saturation up until we're pretty happy with it. And I think about 30 gives it a nice pop. So I want to actually clear that green adjustment because uh, like I said, I didn't actually use that in the first one. I used a different method and I want to really show you how to do that because it's actually kind of easier in a way. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer with control alt shift N or command option shift N if you're on Mac. And then we're going to go ahead and hit B for our brush tool. And now we want to make sure we're on our layer. Otherwise we won't let you use the brush. And then we're going to just pick a color from the color wheel. Uh, so go ahead and just kind of like go through and figure out what co whatever color you want to change something to you can actually do it using this method so I want something kind of in this pink range like this and I want it pretty light so what we're going to do now is we're just going to start painting it in where we want to see that color And don't worry if you go a little over your subject or you get too much on something because we, we can clean it up in a little bit and make it a lot nicer. Uh, so don't spend too much time fretting about going over something you didn't mean to go over. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and just kind of like go over this dress just a little bit just so I can show you how to clean up a little more. Uh, just so you have a really glaring example of how it's done. So we're just going to keep kind of painting in like this, and it's it's a pain. It's slow. Uh, it's not as fast as the sliders, um, but it works. It works really well, actually. So we're just going to keep doing this, and I want some on here too. And literally, I'm just going to paint completely around the subject. Now 
because this is like I want to affect everything and kind of give it this pink tone. So I'm going to do that. All right. So uh, that's not looking that great. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down to blending mode here. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to try color. And color is way too much, obviously. So we're not going to use that. But we're going to try hue. And that is not working how it should. Oh, it's unsaturation shit. Anyways, hue. <laughs> and as you see, it is a much more natural uh, look to it. it it's it, it kind of just tones the whole image to that. And it even picks up these like blues, all the greens, this kind of like white area here that had little tiny hints of green, stuff like that. It puts the pink color in there and saturates it and desaturates it, I should say, enough to be a shade of white, which, it, I mean, it looks okay. I, I, it's going to look a lot better as we uh, kind of tweak this, but I think it looks good for now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit E for our eraser tool, and then we're going to start cleaning up this mask. And anywhere you see that you kind of maybe got a little overzealous with the painting or just went over or, you know, whatever, like you don't, you careful of this. You don't want to actually go over too much and then start catching like colors back into it. So you want to be very careful to really just paint it over where you need it. So I just undid that brush stroke and I did that with control alt Z. So if you look, we're actually having a little bit of fringing here. So I'm going to bring my brush back up. I'm going to paint in with that pink color just a little closer. And if you zoom in like this, you can get a much more accurate mask. I was trying to go kind of fast to, you know, just show the technique to you guys. But I think it's important that you kind of like know that it's possible to do it like this. So back to the eraser tool. And we're just going to kind of keep going along Got a little on the shoe there. Like I said, I just made this on the dress here to show you how, you know, easy it is to actually change this. Uh, but I mean, if you wanted to, you could change your whole dress this pink color. We could just pop this brush back up and keep painting. Make that a little smaller. Come up in here and you know, it's kind of a pink dress, but uh, honestly, it looks kind of shitty. Uh, if we were to tweak it and work with it more, it would look better. But uh, let's just go ahead and undo that to the point that it's started at, because uh, I would never really do that. So we're just going to keep painting with our eraser tool and getting it off the skin and the dress any way that we needed it. Like there's a little on the elbow here. Let's make sure there's none on the face. Okay. All right. So I think that looks pretty good so far. Now, I think it is a little too saturated down here in like this area and over in there. So what we can do is we can take our eraser tool as we were using it before and then change our opacity. And let's do something like 30. So that way it's only, you know, about one third. So we can just kind of erase over these areas that it might be getting just a little too much saturation to it. Because I still want the house to look kind of natural. I like that it has a little bit of these uh, pink tones to it, but I don't want to uh, completely overdo it. Now, I think I erased too much there. Uh, so I'm going to go back up to opacity. I'm going to actually change that down to like 10 because I do want to take just a little bit more out, but I don't want to have it start getting too green and starting to lose that pink tone. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is open up a color balance layer. And the reason why we want to do color balance is we're just, we're going to tweak this further because I'm not happy with it yet. Like I think it's still could use a lot more. Uh, if you look like up in here, it's kind of more of a dark, 
like black than anything. It's not it's not really a pink yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pump some magenta in here. We're just going to do that until we start to get the color we want. And uh, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little more red would help. Okay, so now we're going to hit Control I to invert that mask. And then we're going to go ahead and start painting that in. And it's way oversaturated right now. Do not worry about that. We're going to fix it because right now it looks disgusting. So we're just painting in this mask, making sure to get everywhere we need to. Okay, maybe we put a little over here in this one that's up on the window because we got the reflection. Okay, so we can actually use the same mask to then adjust the colors that we just painted with. So let me go ahead and select the mask, hit backslash just so we can see where it's applied. And I missed a little area here if you look. So we're just gonna paint on that. Miss, oh, that's part of our shoe. We do not wanna affect that. So I'm just gonna undo that. Kinda thought I missed an area, but. Okay, so now that we got our mask set up, we're gonna go ahead and open up a new hue saturation adjustment layer. And now this time we're just gonna really focus in on this color here. And we're just gonna go ahead and dial that saturation down because right now it's way too vibrant. Like, I mean, obviously we're not gonna have pink trees in real life or anything like that. But uh, if we did have pink trees, I doubt they would be uh, this oversaturated mess. So we're gonna just kind of dial down that saturation until we reach a pretty decent level of like where we want it. About like minus, uh, I'd say 45 would look good. And then we're gonna increase the lightness as well. Just a little to kind of make it kind of hazier. Okay, so remember before when I said that we can use this mask, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Alt, click on this mask and drag it up. And before when it converted to the black and white, that's just, if you hold down Alt and just click a mask, it shows what the mask is without anything behind it. Uh, but if you just hold it down and drag, it'll let you copy the mask. So now we've copied that mask over into this section here. And I'm starting to think I faded it just a little too much with that lightness. So let's go ahead and just kind of reduce that a little bit. And then maybe put a little bit more saturation back in it like minus 40. So that, that's definitely helping. So this little area back here is actually a person's house and not a sky, but I want it to look more like a sky. So we're gonna open up another color balance layer. And then we're gonna kind of add some blue and cyan into the highlights. So we're gonna just tweak that down, move that up. Starting to get a color I kind of like. Maybe a little magenta. Okay. And then we're going to hit Control I to invert the mask. And then we're just going to kind of lightly paint in here. Anywhere where we want to put that highlight. Now, I. As I'm painting this in, I'm starting to think it's a little too blue. I think uh, it's kind of looking a little fake. So I want to adjust that. Or the uh, other option we could do is we could do another one of those saturation masks that we just did for the magenta pink trees. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another saturation or hue saturation layer. And then I'm going to decrease to about... 25. I'm going to just copy up by holding Alt, dragging it up, hit yes to confirm it. And if we look, that does that. So I'm going to start grouping these layers up and I'm going to name this house slash sky because I want it to look like a sky, but in reality it was a house. And these ones I'm going to name in a group, hold on. Let's make a group and I'm gonna name this one trees. 
So now we can actually just kind of toggle these off. So that's before and after with that. And I'm starting to think that's still a little too blue. So I'm actually just going to adjust the entire opacity of this layer or of this group, I should say, to like 70. Whoops, I accidentally deleted it. Maybe 60. Yeah, 60 looks good. I'm seeing a little bit up there that I kind of seem to mask in. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom up just a little, resize my brush, paint that in, clear that part up. Okay, so uh, we're starting to get to where we want. Uh, I'm starting to think that these aren't the right color yet. So I'm going to hit Control U on this to bring up just a quick hue saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to start tweaking it a little bit. Because I want it a little more pink than that. And I think it's too far towards purple at the moment. All right, I think that's a little better. So I'm going to actually quick toggle that back to where it was. Yeah, that's definitely a little more pink to it. Uh, I think I might actually want to do a little bit more. So I'm going to control U again. I'm just going to push that up to about like there. Push that lightness up some more. All right, I think about there is good. Yeah, that's definitely a big difference, and that's definitely more the color that I had in my original image. So I'm actually going to go ahead and decrease more saturation, though, just because uh, by adding more pink, it kind of added more saturation as well. So I think about like 50 is good. All right, so I kind of want to make this blue dress pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to this hue saturation adjustment layer. And apparently I turned it off at some point uh, and go to blues. And let's maybe just turn it up to like 35 because even turning it back on, I think it needs a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm noticing that this is a little oversaturated up here. So compared to the rest of it, it's just a little brighter. So I'm going to make a new hue saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to kind of dial that back in. Control I to make the mask inverted. Hit the brush tool, paint in with white just over this area. All right, and I thought minus 20 kind of matches it. So I think we did a pretty good job here. Uh, it looks finished to me. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already so it's easier for other people to find my videos and learn from me as well. Feel free to share this on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, any social media you see fit. As long as my work is being shared and people are learning, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.